and glory and honor. Hello and welcome. My name is John Abraham Godson and I want to share some time with you um, here in my in my farm. And and today um, I would like to be reading from uh, Matthew chapter 6 from verse um, 25 to verse 34 and it says therefore I say to you do not worry about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body what you will put on it's not life more than food and body more than clothing look at the birds of the air for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not of more value than they which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature so why do you worry about clothing consider the lilies of the field how they grow they neither toil nor spin and yet i say to you that even solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these now if god so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you O you of little faith therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for after all these things the gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows what you need sorry for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow we worry about its own things sufficient for the day is its own trouble this is a very common passage that we we read um, often but we we often neglect we often forget Jesus is encouraging us not to worry about anything not to worry about what we eat, not to worry about what we drink, not to worry about what we wear, not to worry about tomorrow. Because every day has sufficient worries of its own. But Jesus is encouraging us that are we not of more value than many sparrows? Are we not better than the lilies, the flowers, the plants that are gloriously clothed there today and tomorrow they dry up and we turn them? We are. We are of more value than many sparrows. We are of more value than all the lilies in the field. Do not worry about your life. Do not worry about tomorrow. Do not worry about what to eat. Do not worry about what to drink, what to wear. But Jesus told us how we should focus our lives. Jesus told us what to seek in life. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these other things shall be added unto you. This morning I bring you the secret of a successful life in Christ. The secret of a successful life as a Christian. It is by seeking first, seeking above all, seeking primarily. Let the prime aim of your life, let the prime purpose of your life be to seek God, to seek his kingdom to seek his, his, his initiatives, to seek those things that are important to him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. All these other things we're looking for, they are jara, they are additions. They are simply additions that God is giving to us. As we are going in this week, I want to encourage you to change your focus, to change your priority start seeking God first. Start seeking God primarily. Let that be the prime purpose of your life. Let me end by asking you this question that changed my life. It says, what are you living for? If what you are living for is not worth dying for, then it is not worth living for. And I think it was James Elliot that said, he is not a fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. I want to encourage you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. I love you and I hope to see you again. God bless you.